Hi all, in this video we are going to look at how do we write an ELP to check if the given number is an even number or an odd number. Before writing the code, let us try to understand the logic behind this. Any number is said to be an odd number or an even number depending on the LSB bit. If the LSB bit is 0, it indicates it's an even number, else it will be an odd number. For this purpose, let us consider the accumulator register and the carry flag. To store the result, let us consider the register R1 and the register R1 shall hold 0 if the given number is an even number, else R1 will be holding 0, 1 to indicate that the number under investigation is odd. Let us explain it with an example. The number we are going to consider now is A5. The 8-bit representation of A5 is as shown here which is 10100101. Now, in order to tell this number is an even number or an odd number, I need to check this particular bit which is the LSB. And right now, this is equal to 1. Since this is equal to 1, it indicates it is an odd number. So, R1 should be loaded with a value 0, 1 as the given number is odd. How do we automate it? I need to take this particular LSP bit into the carry register. To do so, I'll make use of a logical instruction called RRC accumulator. Means to say, right rotate the contents of accumulator along with carry. So the operation works like this. Right rotation means to say rotate right. So you can see here. Finally, the LSB bit has been loaded into the carry register. Now, the accumulator content, which was A5, is now updated to a new value after the right rotation and the new value is 52H. Anyhow, this is out of scope for our discussion. What are we really interested is with the carry content, which is nothing but the previous accumulator values LSB bit. So, since this is equal to 1, this indicates the number is odd number. So, R1 value, which I had initially reset it to 0, now it should be updated to the next value that is 1. Now that we have understood the logic, let us try writing the code. I am taking the register R1 to store the result. For that reason, I am clearing the content of R1. Clearing the content of R1 means to say I am loading an immediate value 0, 0 to the register R1. Next, I am taking the value for which I am supposed to perform the test. That is, this is the number I want to check whether it is an even number or an odd number. For that reason, I am loading this value to the accumulator register. This register should be always accumulator only for the reason that all the arithmetic and logical operations, whatever is there in 8051, should have this register only. After this, I am going to clear the content of carry flag. This is just for making sure that there is no garbage present inside this particular carry flag. 
Once this is done, my next task is to perform the logical operation. This logical operation is nothing but RRC which stands for rotate right the contents of accumulator along with the carry. This operation can be visualized as here. Right rotate the accumulator content along with carry. So you can see each bit is getting shifted one bit right. Finally, the LSB has been loaded to the carry flag. So looking at carry, I can come to a conclusion that the given number is an even number or an odd number. So the condition I'm going to put now, jump on carry to a specified label. Next. So what it should do? Jump if carry is set. Now that since carry is set, I have to set the value of R1 to 0, 1 hexadecimal because that was what our assumption. If the number is detected to be odd, then I'm going to load a value 0, 1 to the register R1. Once I'm done with this, I'm not supposed to do any other operation. I'm going to terminate the code. I'll come back to this in a moment. Now let us get back here. What if the carry was not set? If the carry was not set, then it is concluded that the given number should be an even number means to say the given number did not set the carry flag means to say the LSB of the given number was a zero indicating that the number to be even. So what am I supposed to do? I'll be loading zero to the register R1. You might wonder why should I re-update Already the content of R1 was 0, I did not change it in any time. You can skip off this step as well. But the thing is, accidentally we might have used this, used this register somewhere else. To avoid that particular problem, it is always better to update the values as and when it is needed for us. Though we have not used R1 anywhere else, it is a good practice to have this particular line. So this indicates R1 will be loaded with an immediate value 0 indicating that the number under test was an even number. After doing this, what is my next step? Should I again update R1 with 0, 01? No, right? For that reason, I'm going to give an unconditional jump. This jump should come to the termination of the code. So I'll come here. So what is this line is this is again an unconditional self loop. This will be looping to this particular label here again and again infinitely without doing any other operation. It is uh, uh, whatever I've given here as a dollar symbol, its equivalent can be, I can directly give here S jump and a label called here also. And finally, I'll put the end statement indicating this is the end of the program. Now let us consider an example. The number we are going to take is 10100101 as we had considered this in our programming as well. So before execution, I had only reset the value of R1 is equal to 00. zero. So after execution, what is the result expected? Since the LSB is equal to 1, this indicates this number is an odd number. Therefore, the value of R1 should be updated to 0, 
Let us consider another case where the given number is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So the initial cases before execution R1 is reset to 0 and after execution what is that we are expecting? What number is this? This number is 62. Since the number is 62 and in LSB bit position I have a 0 here. This indicates the number is an even number. Hence, after execution also, the value of R1 should remain 0. That's all for this session. The code can be found in the description below. Thank you.